The Ministry of Shipping, a branch of the Government of India, is the apex body for formulation and administration of the rules and regulations and laws relating to shipping. Since 2014 this department has been under Transport Minister Nitin Gudkari. Introduction Maritime transport is a critical infrastructure for the social and economic development of a country. It represents the pace, structure and pattern of development of water transport in the country. The Ministry of Shipping encompasses the shipping and port sectors which include shipbuilding and repair, major ports, national waterways and inland water transport. The Ministry has been entrusted with the responsibility to formulate policies and programs on these subjects and their implementation. History In July 1942, the Department of Communications was split into two departments, the Department of Posts and the Department of War Transport. The Department of War Transport included major ports, railways, roads, water transport, petrol rationing and producer gas. Its functions were to manage transportation during wartime. Coastal shipping and the management and expansion of major ports were also added to the portfolio. Exports were given priority in the department. Topic changes over the years After the independence of India in 1947, various governments have reorganized and renamed the department. 1957, Department of War Transport was renamed as Ministry of Transport and Communications. 1966, on 25 January, under President's order the Department of Transport, Shipping and Tourism was placed under Ministry of Transport and Aviation. 1967, on 13 March, the Ministry of Transport and Aviation was split into two as the Ministry of Shipping and Transport and the Ministry of Tourism and Civil Aviation. 1985, on 25 September, with the reorganization organization, the Ministry of Transport and Shipping became the Department of Surface Transport under the Ministry of Transport. 1986, on the 22nd of October, the Department of Surface Transport under Ministry of Transport was renamed as Ministry of Surface Transport. 1999, on the 15th of October, Ministry of Surface Transport was afterwards reorganized into two as Department of Shipping and the Department of Road Transport and Highways. 2000, on the 17th of November, the Ministry of Surface Transport was bifurcated into two different ministries as Ministry of Shipping and Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. 2004, on the 2nd of October, Ministry of Shipping and Ministry of Road Transport and Highways were again merged and renamed as Ministry of Shipping, Road Transport and Highways. It had two departments: Department of Shipping and Department of Road Transport and Highways. Topic: <laughs> Organizational setup. The Secretary Shipping is assisted by Joint Secretaries Shipping, Ports, Development Advisor Ports, Chief Controller of Charting and other officers at the level of Directors, Deputy Secretaries, Under Secretaries and other Secretariat and Technical Officers. The Accounts Wing is headed by a Chief Controller of Accounts who is inter alia responsible for accounting, payment, budget, internal audit and cash management. Advisor Transport Research renders necessary data support to various wings of the Ministry for policy planning, transport coordination, economic and statistical analysis on various modes of transport with which the Ministry is concerned. The following are autonomous organizations, societies and PSUs functioning under the administrative control of the Ministry. Topic. Subordinate, attached offices Directorate General of Shipping, Mumbai Andaman and Lakshadweep Harbour Works, Port Blair Directorate General of Lighthouses and Lightships, New Delhi Minor Port Survey Organization, Mumbai Autonomous bodies Chennai Port Trust Cochin Port Trust Inland Waterways Authority of India, Noida Jawaharlal Nehru Port Trust Kandla Port Trust Mumbai Port Trust National Shipping Board New Mangalore Port Trust Paradip Port Trust Kolkata Port Trust 
Siemens Provident Fund Organization, Mumbai Tariff Authority of Major Ports, Mumbai V.O. Chidambarnar Port Trust Visakhapatnam Port Trust Topic. Societies and associations Indian Maritime University Indian Ports Association Seafarers Welfare Fund Society Topic PSU's Central Inland Water Transport Corporation Limited Cochin Shipyard Limited Cochin Dredging Corporation of India Limited Enor Port Limited Hooghly Dock and Port Engineers Limited Sathusamundaram Corporation Limited Shipping Corporation of India Mumbai Topic Statistics India currently ranks 16th among the maritime countries with a coastline of 7517 kilometers with 13 major ports 12 government and one corporate and about 200 non-major ports currently operating in the western and eastern regions of the country According to the ministry 95% of India's trade by volume and 70% by value occurs through maritime transport Topic Indian shipping tonnage over a period of 25 years Topic <inaudible> <inaudible> market size Cargo traffic of Indian ports were 911.5 MT for FY12 and was projected to be around 1758 MT for FY17 during April to May 2014 ports handled 95.87 MT of cargo as compared to 91.48 MT during April to May 2013 an increase of 4.8% according to the data released by Indian Ports Association IPA of the major ports, Mormagayo port posted highest growth in traffic 24.48% during April and May 2014, followed by Mumbai port 14.35%, Kamarahar port 13.90%, VO. Chidambarinar port 13.67% and Kolkata dock system 12.36% as compared to the same period the previous year. In terms of volume, Kandla Port led the pack with 15.31 MT of traffic handled followed by Paradip Port at 11.73 MT during the same period. In 2013-14, coal cargo traffic thermal coal and coking coal volumes rose by 20.6% to 104.5 MT from 86.7 MT a year previously. Among commodities, there was an increase of 25% in handling of fertilizers in April 2014 in comparison to April 2013. Iron ore handling also showed an increase of 16.8% during the month. Topic investments The Indian ports sector received FDI worth $1,635.40 million between April 2000 and May 2014, according to the Department of Industrial Policy and Promotion DIP, Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The ports sector in India were awarded 30 projects in 2013-14 entailing an investment of over 20,000 crore rupees $3.32 billion, marking a threefold increase over the preceding year. The following are major investments and developments in the sector. Adani Ports and Special Economic Zone has signed an agreement with L&T Infrastructure and Tata Steel to acquire 100% stake in DPCL for rupees 5000 crore US 915.17 million dollars. JNPT and PSA have signed a concession agreement for the port's fourth container terminal worth 8000 crore rupees 1.33 billion dollars. It currently operates container terminals in Kolkata, Tutakoran and Chennai ports, with a total capacity of 2 million 20-foot equivalent units TEUs. The fourth container terminal would have a capacity of 4.8 million TEUs. Paradip port plans to set up hybrid cargo terminals, Captive Cum Common User Facility, as part of its expansion plans. L&T Shipbuilding Limited is diversifying its cargo handling capacity at Katapali Port to include automobiles and oil products in addition to container handling. Originally, the Katapali Port planned to handle a total of 25 MT of cargo, of which 24 MT was containerized cargo and the rest steel and project cargo.
Topic government initiatives The government has allowed FDI up to 100% under the projects related to the construction and maintenance of ports and harbors. A 10-year tax exemption has been given to the enterprises engaged in the business of developing, maintaining and operating ports, inland waterways and inland ports. The Minister for Road Transport, Highways and Shipping Nitin Gudkari said that his ministry will coordinate with other ministries of environment and forests, tourism, power and water resources, river development and Ganga rejuvenation for development of transport and tourism along the river Ganga. The Cochin Steamer Agents Association CSAA will take the lead to improve the cargo throughput by organizing marketing initiatives in the hinterland in association with the port management, terminal operator and various other stakeholders. A 20% growth target in container volume was fixed for 2014-15. The National Maritime Agenda 2010-2020 is an initiative of the Ministry of Shipping to outline the framework for the development of the port sector. The agenda also suggests policy-related initiatives to improve the operating efficiency and competitiveness of Indian ports. Sagar Mala project is the new initiative of the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> Future plans Investments and cargo traffic represent the health of the port services, these include operation and maintenance services such as pilotage, harboring and provision of marine assets like bargers and dredgers. The Planning Commission of India in its 12th five-year plan expects a total investment of 180,626 crore rupees $30.05 billion in the port sector. Through its Maritime Agenda 2010-2020, the Ministry of Shipping has set a target capacity of over 3,130 MT by 2020, largely through private sector participation. More than 50% of this capacity is expected to be created at non major ports. Visakhapatnam Port looked forward to a bright year in 2014 15, as several development projects were on the verge of completion, and the port expected to handle 65 mt of cargo during the year. See also Inland Waterways Authority of India